I got something extra about that, man. So, do you do the same thing with music? Because I had this conversation with him and other people. Well, he got to know with somebody else years ago on a podcast. And I was all like, yeah, they need to still study music. The pioneers who did it before. And then, like, yeah. different genres. Because you'd be surprised. I like, what came from where? Yeah. Do you do the same thing with music? Yeah, there's, like, different, like, subgenres. And, like, there's, like, inspirations. You know, like, I feel like now the, like, like some, like, alternative and, like, indie music... <clears throat> Like, it's getting, it's purposely distorted in the studio to make it sound mm-hmm. like, you know, that from a different era. Yeah. And, like, yeah. so that's, like, a really cool, like, callback. Like, that's one of, like, many different things. But, yeah, I def- definitely, like, I listen to, you know, different, like, genres of music. And, like, you know, there's callbacks from, like, previous things. And, and you know, you, you find, like, the styles. Like, there's, like, unique, there's, like, artists that have, like, unique different styles. But then there are artists that, like... They do sound like, you know, like, you know, people from the past. But, like, mm. for example, like, Ed Sheeran, no one sounds like Ed Sheeran. Yeah, no. You, you can go back and, like, no one sounded like him back in the yeah. day. So, like, that's, like, a level of uniqueness that, like, yeah. he has known for him. So, um, but then, like, you know, you listen to, like, you know, All Time Low and, like, Fall Out Boy and, like, different eras. Like, they sound similar. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. like, they go to different moments. Um, and it's, like, like, for example... Um, like Sugar We're Going Down by Fall Out Boy and like yeah. Dear Maria Count Me In like yeah. it's in the same key like right. the the like the way that they sing like their style of singing is yeah. almost exactly the same you you would you would think that it's the same band yeah damn yeah, I mean, yeah, like, that's true so, oh, so you're a music yeah. you really are a music yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true over there too and yeah. I'm like yeah. I like, stick with certain genres myself and like, cause I, like the reason I say that because like I look at like how rap music I'm a big you know hip hop yeah. rap fan but then like if you look before what we got today because <laughs> Some of that stuff came from like funk and disco, and then like yeah, know, disco came from like the, if you have noticed like some of the music has come from like classical music. Yeah, so, like, you see how he, the music evolved. Yeah, you know, and in turn became his own like genre, yeah. kind of like the military. Like yeah. you know, you know, we need somebody to fly planes. You know, we yeah. got the army, but we need somebody to be in the sky. Oh, air force. Yeah. Oh, we need somebody in the water. Oh. Navy and yeah. the byproduct of the Navy is the Marines, you know, stuff like that. So things you see, things evolve. I know that's kind of a weird. Topic. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, no, no yeah, yeah, yeah. Music. That's how I treat the music because, like, I think what was it like Adam we were talking to since we are, you know, he was on that podcast. I was like, nah, you got not pay homage per se, but know what the fuck you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah you saying. don't just sit there and be like, oh, this person did this. You're, right. you're not required to do that. But when you're doing stuff, you should at least have some type of knowledge. Like we've been saying before, you yeah. got at least got to have some type of knowledge of at least where your sound is kind of inspired from. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I mean, like the big thing too is like, you know, like all music now and like, you know, the, whether it be, you know, rap, hip hop, you know, whatever's bumping on the radio, you know, Taylor Swift, anything, right? Yes. Like the structure behind it, like does come from classical music. Like classical yeah. music was very much like structured and like, you know, there, there's like, a specific way you have to like do the genre, you know, within classical music. And like, if you didn't do it, it was considered, you know, like sacrilege almost. Yeah. You know? so, <laughs> yeah, like, was, yeah. Um, so now obviously, you know, like basic, like, you know, like chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, done. Like that yeah. is a very like basic structure that like is people follow. Like if they want their song to be like on the radio, yeah. be a hit single, but yeah. like, if they want to be a little bit different, then obviously you got to go, you know, quote unquote, yeah. to quote wrestling. You got to go off script. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it so, is. so if, you know, some some artists like they like to stay in that box, and right. you know, I like listening to some of that, but I also like listening to people do things a little bit differently. Exactly. So, okay. Yeah. I mean, the thing about like being like a like a mu- like a music major and stuff is like. I feel like I've like had to like listen to a lot of different things just to like, oh, wow. like I just wanted to expose myself to more things just so I yeah. like have an idea you know like different exposure to different genres of music mm-hmm. has not only like as like a if I analyze music it's all it's made me better at that it's made oh, wow. me better at performing as well you know because you, you find like different things like you find the fill in a genre that, like, as a drummer, you find a fill that you're like, oh, I'm going to take that here and yeah. see if it works, you know? Yeah. So you're finding different right. things like that, so. Um, like, right now, we're, like, you know, like, for, like, the basketball band stuff that I do at U of H, like, whenever they score, we have to, like, go crazy and, like, make noise. Yeah. And what I've been doing is, like, I've just been, like, 
taking like really like famous like drum intros and just playing that instead. Oh, sweet. Like I, yeah. like I did like um, Smells Like Teen Spirit. Oh, yeah. Boom. You know? Yeah. And yeah. everyone was like, they were like, oh, <laughs> like, we like you. <laughs> yeah. So um, it got a little soft. It got a little like quiet. And then, you know, Score. Like, yeah. Yeah. And so, like, and again, everyone knows those things. Yeah. So, like, having, like, doing those things and, like, calling back, it, not only, like, are you exposing yourself to different things, but people also, like, are more attracted to that because they're, like, because it's familiar, you yeah. know? So that, that's something that you can Nostalgia. do. Nostalgia. So. Yep. <laughs> yeah, when you go listen to someone do, like, a drum solo, like, yeah. you'll hear little little snippets, little nuggets of music yeah. from other, like, songs or whatever. Yeah. So. That's why a lot of people kind of get in into trouble when it comes to sampling and things like oh, that yeah. because you like with uh, Pharrell and uh, Pharrell Robin Thicke oh, yeah, and right. T.I. with Blurred Lines yeah. when they t- uh, they sampled Marvin Gaye's thing without they unintentionally did it but yeah, give it up uh, yeah. yeah but it's give like it you know they probably were sitting there like oh, okay you probably don't even know where you heard that song like I know I heard this somewhere but uh, I'm don't not dare. sure yeah. uh, I'm not sure and you do it and then yeah. the Marvin Gaye film is like money please yeah yeah yeah, the, so long ago. the problem with so the problem with that like all the sampling and copywriting and stuff like that it's like music is infinite but it, it also is also finite right yes. like um like for example like Ed Sheeran had this oh, problem yeah, with yeah. um with I think let's get it on yeah by Marvin yeah. Gaye as well yep Marvin Gaye Damn, yeah. Yeah. Marvin Gaye's Marvin, out here hey, hey that Marvin family Gaye bro families. they don't play hey, like, yeah, they don't play and it's yeah. funny because like James yeah. Brown's the most sample man yeah. so yeah. weird so, movie, I'm sorry. yeah no you're good you're good and like but like Ed Sheeran literally took his good like he was his own defense in court. Yeah. He took yeah. a guitar. He took his guitar to the court and was smart. playing. I was like, that's kind of smart, actually. Yeah. Smart. Um, and also, like, the big, th- the problem with it is, like, what is, like, popular in terms of, like, pop music, mm-hmm. right? Like, the structure and the chords are, like, all very similar. They yeah. are. Like, there's a chord progression. Yeah. Um, there was, like, a comedy band that, like, did, did a, little, little, a little gag about this. And it was called the Four Chord Song. Okay. And it was it, by the Axes of Awesome. I don't think they're a thing anymore, but they were a thing in like the early and early two thousand or late two thousands, um, early two thousand tens. Okay. But they like did like uh, hey, so you know this song, and they they played like the you know the intro to Don't Stop Believing on the piano, right? right? And everyone's like, yeah, that's Don't Stop Believing. He was like, watch this, and then start singing a completely different song. Ooh. <laughs> but it's but it, you know, uh, okay. and, and basically what they did was for four minutes they just circled through like 15 second snippets yeah. of any song like yeah. you know oh, another thing would yeah. like the same maze like the chord progression for don't stop believing is also the same chord progression for um can you feel the love tonight from lion king ah, like okay like there's all these different things and you know so it's re- so because of that you know people are some people are trying they're not trying to reinvent the wheel yeah. you know uh, so that's why you get you run into those situations. Yeah, the same type of beats and yeah. the same, like. But when ugh, but when yeah. you're sampling things, you know, there's like different sounds that you like, and right. you know, and, and another thing is Pharrell. You know, obviously he looks great for his age. But yeah. Pharrell's old. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. like yeah. Pharrell grew up in that era. Yeah. And so you know you're influenced by the people who came before you. Of yeah. course. So that's that's why like sometimes you you sample things and you don't realize you're like man this sounds really good. Yeah. But you don't realize it's because you've heard it before. Yeah. You know. So that's right. a, yeah. that's a problem that that you can definitely run into. Yeah. And that's why you hear a lot of artists when they. Cause I've always thought it was so weird when artists say like if I'm interviewing an artist I'm like so hey who are you listening to right now oh I don't listen to anybody I'm not thinking to myself like, I'm thinking to myself like but why don't you like music but that's part of the reason why they say that because I don't want to be influenced by anybody yeah else. you want I want to make my own thing so no one can come back and say yeah. well you stole my you like I yeah, stole Jeremy's yeah. song you know yeah it goes that's back right. to that authenticity yeah. you know like you know, we were talking about earlier like you have to you have to just be like the best version of yourself like yep. you know and it, you know it's easy because it's so easy to just get influence you know yeah. right uh, especially with like you're like ear training stuff so like like I have perfect pitch so like I listen to things and like, like if I hear like a little jingle like I'll start playing it like if I'm playing like keyboard or something like yeah. I'll play the jingle and I'm like stop it you know like what are you doing <laughs> so um, so that just happens um, 
And the same thing happens on drums too. Like I, I'll listen to a fill and I'm like, man, that feels stuck in my head for a few weeks and that's all I play. And I'm like, man, you know, like, so, you know, it's really easy to get influenced. So that, that's definitely a reason why some people might not. The, the reason why I listen to everything, I'm like the complete opposite is because one, I'm not a professional musician who, or like a recording artist per se. Yeah. Um, and so like, I'm not worried about like copyrights or anything. Yeah. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to expose myself to different things uh-huh. just so I can pull, you know, just from everywhere. You know what I mean? Kind of like a jack of all trades. Yeah. So. You are very re- well rounded on just a lot of stuff, man. Like, you yeah. Know, wrestling. Yeah. Uh, the esports. All right. Well, it's cool. I think I got him. I think I got him. Yeah. Go being, well, being 20, you know, being 26 and like not having started like my career has allowed me to do a lot yeah. of different things. That's cool. So it is a that, blessing that, in disguise. Yeah, that actually is a really yeah, good yeah, thing. It's a blessing right? in disguise. Like yeah. we, we were talking about it. I was like, man, like, you know, I just kind of want to like, you know, start my career already. Yeah. But like, right. it's also like, you know, well, if I started my career at 22, I wouldn't have, have I, there's a lot of things I've experienced over the last four years yeah. that I would yeah. not have experienced. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if I'm teaching full time, you know, and like being a high school band director and I have to yeah. go to all these shows with all, with my kids and like, you know, it's like 6 a.m. to like midnight days, like, yeah. you know, 16 hour days, you know, I'm never gonna go to, I can't go to like regionals and tournaments and like, or I can't go do this, I can't go yeah. do that. So, hey, so like, you know, I know that that's something that like I would have to. I don't think I would be able to give it up completely, okay. but I would have to give up a lot of it. You yeah, know? understood. And I think now, like that's like you know, talking about well-rounded. It's, it's, you are, bro. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to get a little bit out of everything that I can before I can't do it anymore. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, like, because like, yeah, because like with us, we both have full time jobs where we work ten to twelve hours a day, yeah, every day, and on the weekend with me on the weekends. Yeah, you work. Um, yeah, it's tough. Like doing this podcast, like we love this podcast. We get to go travel. We've met a lot of people. We've interviewed a lot of cool people, but it does take a lot of time. Yeah. So. Enjoy this time, yeah. You know, when yeah, you're able to kind of soak in everything and just, because yeah. who knows, you're gonna you're gonna take what you have and you're gonna apply it to everything else, and you're gonna be like, man, I'm lucky I was able to learn X, Y, and Z. Yeah, and now I yeah. can use it. Yeah. It's, it's gonna be so. Especially when you have family. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. And then we both have three kids. Uh, yeah. So it's just like, oh well. Well, luckily our kids are a bit older now. Yeah. Yeah. So cool age. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 They're definitely at that age where I can be like, man, dad's going somewhere by. So you're like, yeah. yeah. You know, my wife will be here, or the kids can just be by themselves. They're old enough to be by themselves. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, you know, kids. That's not something I'm thinking about for yeah, at just, least just, another. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Break the hey, cycle. Don't do, don't do it. Don't do it. Hey, look in your eyes. Look in your eyes. <laughs> Break the cycle, Morty. Break the cycle, Morty. Please. 